chiedo alla regia di mandare un contributo di una persona che ci teneva molto a esserci, non è riuscita a venire, che è Giovan Gervis di Daiki. Vediamo il suo videomessaggio e poi torniamo a parlarne qui anche con gli altri relatori. Hello everyone. Firstly, let me apologize for not being able to be with you in person today. And secondly, thank you for giving me the opportunity to tell you about this project, which is very close to my heart and my colleagues' heart. Rowing together against breast cancer and cardiovascular disease is the idea behind the Cardio Breast Dragon Boat Festival. The initiative was created to raise awareness of the benefits of this exciting and innovative discipline, which takes place in traditional longboats with a stern and a bow resembling a dragon. And this unique activity not only contributes to cardiovascular prevention, but also has a heritage in supporting the recovery and both men physical and mental well-being of women who have undergone breast cancer surgery. We promote this initiative to enhance the importance of both cardiovascular and oncological primary prevention, as well as the decisive role that physical activity plays in contributing to a healthy lifestyle. The event also aims to increase patient education and patient empowerment. From a scientific perspective, studies have shown that the practice of this dragon boat sport within breast cancer patients allows via the paddling movement to specifically promote the release of myokins that modulate the systemic inflammatory response, inhibiting tumour necrosis and limiting the formation of lipidemia. The process significantly alleviates symptoms, reduces the feeling of fatigue and overall helps the patient's quality of life. Not only this, but the consistent action of muscle stimulation and physical movement brings direct beneficial effects such as reduction in heart rate, increase in heart size, improvement in the left ventricular capacity and improvement in the quality and, co and quantity of coronary function. Regular physical activity leads to a 40 to 50% reduction in the risk of cardiovascular disease. It also reduces the risk of diabetes and high blood pressure. After last year's event's great success, the Cardio Breast Dragon Boat Festival this year doubles it, doubled its efforts. We had four events across Italy in four different cities. At the Cardio Breast Dragon Boat Festival events, we have a friendly competition of women's dragon boat teams, the pink paddlers, they are called. Um, and it allows these women to share the experience of the sporting activities, but also their personal experiences. And this culminates in an award ceremony. Throughout the event, we offer free cardiovascular screening, including heart function tests, electrocardiogram and lipid testing. And these are offered to everyone who attends. The stories of these breast cancer patients who participated in the, the first edition of the initiative have been collected in a book which is available on Amazon, called The Way of the Dragon, Stories of the Renaissance After Breast Cancer, a collection of 26 testimonies with the aim of promoting awareness, understanding and empathy towards one of the most difficult challenges women face today, supporting a new holistic approach to care that sees the person, the woman in her entirety and not only the illness. This publishing project will be presented from the 18th to the 22nd of October at the Frankfurt Book Fair, which is the largest trade book fair in Europe. Thank you very much for allowing me to discuss this project that means so much to us as an organisation. Grazie a John Jervis.